watching you. You picked a good one to be here. We have a, we've assembled a super duper show for you tonight. Duran Duran is with us tonight. And um, all the way from Wakanda, the cast of Black Panther, Wakanda forever. We, um, you probably saw the big movie premiere is uh, right across from our theater tonight. It's fun, this is one of the few times of the year people dressed as superheroes in this neighborhood aren't high on meth. Uh, not only is it Black Panther Day, it's also National Pumpkin Day today. And I thought this was interesting. A uh, grower in Minnesota grew the largest pumpkin ever recorded, weighed more than a ton, 2,560 pounds. It was the size of a dumpster. And that dumpster-sized pumpkin grew up to be president of the United States. <laughs> 45. Speaking of, um, speaking of gourds, Kanye West is totally out of his. <laughs> Yesterday, Ye lost a $1.5 billion deal he had with Adidas. Yeah. Adidas and so today, I don't know if you saw that, he showed up unannounced and uninvited at the corporate headquarters for Skechers in Manhattan Beach. <laughs> Skechers, which his ex-wife Kim did commercials for, is owned by the Greenberg family, so they threw him right out. They would said, <laughs> and put out a statement denouncing him. Ironically, this is not a joke, before he barged into Skechers, he stopped at the bagel shop next door. <laughs> he shouldn't be allowed to eat bagels anymore, right? I mean, at the very least, locks him up. There's, there's not much good news for Kanye. Madame Tussauds in London has removed his wax figure from there. They're gonna melt it down and make a bunch of little Kevin Hart's, I heard. <laughs> and, um, and some uh, big name athletes have dropped, he had a sports management company called Donda Sports, uh, including two of his biggest clients, Aaron Donald of the Rams and the Celtics' Jalen Brown said no more. At this point, the only athlete who'd be dumb enough to sign with Donda Sports is Herschel Walker, because <laughs> things aren't going much better for Herschel. His campaign for Senate gets nuttier by the day. In less than two years, this is where we at. And now you're asking for six more years. Do you look like we got peanuts in our brain? Hmm. <laughs> Let me think about that for an hour. I think, is the answer yes? Uh, yes, I say yes. I am sick and tired of people thinking that we're bad people. They're saying we're bad people, we're racist people. Let's be real now. 23 and men screwed us all up. We don't know what we are and it really don't matter, does it? Well, 23 and Me hasn't screwed us all up, okay? <laughs> By the way, 23 and Me is what Herschel calls dinner with his children. Did you know that? Thank you. Um, today, another woman came forward to say that Herschel Walker drove her to a clinic to have an abortion. He is allegedly pro-life. She says she didn't want to have the abortion. She left the clinic. He made her go back in and have it while he waited in the parking lot. He was married at the time, she says. She has a voice message from Herschel telling her that he loves her. Uh, she has a photo of him on a hotel room bed. She has letters both to her and to her parents. But once again, Herschel said, this is just a, another woman telling another lie. I've already told people this is a lie, and I'm not gonna entertain the continuing to carry a lie alone. And I also wanna let you know, I didn't kill JFK either. That one, that one is true. He, didn't, he did not kill JFK. But if he had killed him, he would have done it while he was in the womb. Um, while we're on the subject of unwanted children, Eric Trump, son of Donald, has been um, making the rounds as part of something called the Reawaken America Tour. This is, this is quite a tour. Michael Flynn, Roger Stone, the My Pillow guy, all the stars of the MAGAverse are there, including this electrifying young man. My father finally got a subpoena from the January 6th committee. Did anybody see this? This hoax committee, and I'm telling you, I told him a minute ago, I go, you have to go testify. You know what, because it'll be the greatest entertainment. Who wants to pop a beer, make some popcorn, and watch Donald Trump talk about election fraud in the United States of America? Yeah. I do, too. I would like to see that. I, I... <laughs> but, 
Daddy's lawyers definitely don't want them. They, they want him to be quiet so he doesn't go to jail and you don't have to work at a car wash for the rest of your life. But hey, Eric, if you can get him on the stand, great. I'll make the popcorn. We can eat peanuts out of Herschel Walker's head. It'll be fantastic. Um, high pitch Eric Trump even treated the crowd to a phone call with his old man. And so we're gonna call him quickly. Does that make sense? So, Dad, you have an amazing crowd. I'm here in Pennsylvania. Wonderful son is treating everybody fantastically. He works so hard. He's such a great guy. Hold on. Can we zoom in on that phone and take a closer look? Is it, what the heck? That's, oh, that's, that's cute. Here in... Um, I don't know if you know this, but here in California, there's a lotto ticket worth $38 million that has gone unclaimed since April. And if the winner doesn't come forward by Friday, that money will go to uh, California schools. I know, what a waste, right? It's... <laughs> if you do have the winning ticket, you're strongly encouraged to call the lottery's customer service line, which I would imagine doesn't get a whole lot of calls. Do you think there's like a person that's someone's job sitting there waiting for the... Are you even paying attention? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that, yeah, in some way, I am paying attention to you. Yeah. Uh, I was waiting for you I to I know, finish. you're working security, I yeah. know. <laughs> All right, let's go out to Hollywood Boulevard. We've got some unsuspecting pedestrians who are about to hit a, a jackpot of their own. I mentioned the premiere for the new Black Panther movies happening right across the street. We've come up with a way to surprise some of the fans who are gathering outside the theater. So let's uh, first go to our lobby where Lupita Nyong'o, Denai Gurira, and Lakeisha Wright are standing by. Hello, ladies. Hey, hey, hey. You look great. How you doing? It's a big night. Are you excited? Yeah. Wow, huh. yeah. So well, we're going to make it a little more fun for um, some of the folks who are fans of the movie. And what we've done is we put a, uh, if we can show the hole, we put a hole <laughs> In, in my face. Sorry about the hole. Um, <laughs> but on the other side, we've got a sign, and we're going to find a fan on the street and offer them a sneak peek. And when they peek, they will see the three of you, OK? You guys stand by. We'll go out now to my cousin, Sal, who's on Hollywood Boulevard. Hello, Sal. How Sal, are you? Hey, Jimmy. How you doing? I'm doing well, thank you. And, and who do we have here? Oh, there's Wakanda fever forever on the boulevard. We have Johnny and Stacy. Hi, Johnny and Stacy. How you Hi, guys doing? Hi, Jimmy. Great. Where are you from? We're from Clinton, Mississippi. Are you here on vacation? No. You're not. <laughs> Actually here doing a little business, Jimmy, and just happened to want to spend a day in Los Angeles. Now, did you see the first Black Panther movie? We, we did. did. You did. And did you enjoy the first we Black loved Panther absolutely. movie? Yes. Would you Several times. Would you like to see a sneak peek at the new Black Panther movie? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. OK. Well, now, Marvel, you have to promise, because uh, you know the movie's not out yet. We don't want any spoilers. So if you do get to see the sneak peek, you have to promise that you won't tell anyone what you've seen, OK? Gotcha. Okay, yeah, why don't you guys you both head up there together? Uh, why don't you both, yeah, just kind of head there together. All right. And um, you can see that. You see that hole in the wall right there? Now, yeah, put your head right through there. Boo. <laughs> That's oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's Stacy. She can't do the Wakanda salute without her arms. Right. <laughs> She's already saluted. Right. <laughs> Stacy's husband is here too. Why don't you give your husband Johnny a moment to us? stick his? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Johnny, go ahead and put you see what's going on there. Hey. Oh wow! Hey. Oh. Oh. Oh, this is exciting. Good to see you. Good to see you all. Thank yeah. you for coming. Thank Johnny, you your head fits almost perfectly in that hole. <laughs> well, Jimmy, they told me to stick my whole head in, so I just had to go. <laughs> so um, anyway, we, uh, I think we have a little surprise for you, all right? You got a little something for Johnny and Stacy? Yeah. Oh. Um, I don't know if you have anything going on this evening, but we may have a ticket for you to come see the Black Panther, yes. the Wakanda Forever. The calendar is actually empty. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Well, let's oh, my goodness. Good 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 oh, all right. That's <laughs> <laughs>
All right, there you go. All right, thank you, ladies. Oh, we gotta give Stacy one. All right, let's see if we have a uh, cousin Sal. You have anybody else yeah, out I don't there? No, Jimmy, these two don't seem to be fans. This could be a waste of time. I'm not. Well, come on in. Dude. All right. <laughs> oh my goodness. Now, um, you guys know about the movie, right? Uh, I don't think we do. <laughs> We're kind of crazy about it. Hey, this is. Well, what are your names, first of all? Hi, my name is Carlos. I'm Andres, and we both are from Mexico. You're from Mexico. Mexico you live City. in Mexico. Yes. You came here for the premiere specifically. Yes, we did. You did. Of course, representing Mexico. <laughs> Do you want to see a sneak peek of the uh, of the movie? Of course. Of course. All right, all right, all right. Well, cousin Sal, you there. lead them in there. I can. I'm getting a sneak peek of your testicles. Uh... <laughs> 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 all right, yeah. Just go ahead and eat. yeah. Put your head through that. There you go. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. What do you think, huh? It's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice to meet you. Meet you. Nice yeah. to meet you. Yeah. I wish you could watch my, to, you could see my outfit. We saw it. They wore, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you. I'm just, I don't know what I'm feeling right now. <laughs> but I suppose it's Do you want a something. shot? Maybe the... Yeah, you need some tequila? tequila? You want a shot? Oh, oh, tequila. Oh, tequila. Oh, wow. All right. Okay. Yeah, this is the only way it can go down. Oh. Salud. Good. Salud. Viva Mexico. Viva. Got it. That's a lot. Let's yeah. let's, yeah. let's, 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 let's let Carlos take a look here uh, okay. also. And yeah, all right, here we go. <laughs> Carl, can, Carlos doesn't know what's going on. Oh, oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> it's so crazy to see you. <laughs> I'm so excited for the movie. I like uh, the outfit. Thank you so yeah, much. I got the helmet good. and everything. Awesome, awesome. Thank you. Wow. The nice way, would you guys you. maybe be interested in VIP tickets to the movie? Uh, sure. Sure? Yeah. Sure? You sure? You sure? Yes. Okay. You did. did you fly here in those outfits from Mexico? Sadly, we did. You did. We had to go through TSA on this outfit. <laughs> All right, well, it all paid off. All right, yeah, thank you, did. Carlos. It all did. right, thank you, there you go, just thank yes. You. There you go, all right. See you tonight. <laughs> all right, all right, ladies, well, come on in and we'll have some fun here in the studio. Ta -da -da.